Hi everyone, it's Kasia from Taromap and in this video I would love to do a VR to um, Lisa from the Supportive Tarot and also to V from um, V Love and Crystals. They did a collaboration video and the hashtag is my most empowering decks. So I'm excited about decks, I'm excited about talking about decks and I'm also really excited about empowering decks. I feel like empowering myself and empowering um, my clients, empowering my friends, empowering women, empowering humans in general is part of my path or maybe even I dare to say path of everybody's part of everybody's path and so I actually because I'm not a native speaker as you can hear I went on and I checked what actually empower means um, you know in the dictionary and it means give someone the authority or power to do something or make someone stronger and more confident especially in controlling their life and claiming their rights in some way I really feel like um, tarot and oracle decks are part of um, doing just that and because I have a lot of decks I couldn't possibly limit myself <laughs> but I picked um, my most empowering decks which I want to share with you and um, I will explain shortly why I think you know they are empowering to me so I was going through my decks and I was wondering like you know there's a few categories in this empowering decks so first category to me empowering so making me stronger or some more confident I love honest decks and I love decks that give me kind of fierce love but honesty in a gentle way you know so they not sweet uh, as much as they creative they force me to really see an issue they force me to really empower myself through seeing situation as kind of objectively as i can so the first deck that i picked is the margaret peterson tarot deck and this booklet i don't know if you've ever seen my review of this deck or seen uh, heard me talk about this deck this is the most amazing tarot booklet uh, one of the most amazing that i have and i love reading so this is a mass produced deck but i have trimmed it and edged it in like colorful um colors and it is a beautiful deck and i call this deck my top shelf uh, spirituality top shelf meaning that it is spiritual in a way that doesn't bullshit you that doesn't um come with a lot of glamour it is embodied it it is it, it is poetic it is creative and it allows you space for your own you know tapping in so it's not prescriptive it's just encouraging and making you aware of things i love this deck and i highly recommend this deck if anyone feels um, like they want to have a spiritual deck but they kind of afraid of the you know the the the, the little bit of um, much more of the woo, woo approach and this one is not and it's very empowering to me Another one that I find truly empowering is also um, the Tarot of Transformation and I also trimmed the backs of this deck and I kind of edged that old gold but you know that's I keep using this deck a lot so it rubbed off <clears throat> but this is also um, a little bit different kind of a deck this one is more of a warm hug of a deck but also very honest and um, very psychological uh, it comes from the perspective of therapeutical explanation of cards hakomi therapy um, psychotherapy you know dream work emotional avoidance techniques and stuff like this it's very cool so this deck to me it's like you know talking to my guardian angel type of thing and it empowers me through bringing softness you know through being honest but also very kind of soft and huggy i find that this deck is really um empowering in my life and i don't use it often 
I actually probably if I want to be honest I have to say that I use it very rarely but it is the Sherlyn Livingstone Art of Life Tarot and it just comes with the artwork um, and like different artwork and quotations but the quotation she chose for each of these tarot archetypes are really very cool so let's pull one for us for now oh the empress i love that only passions great passions can elevate the soul to great things Denis diderot that's beautiful let's try another one <clears throat> ace of wands with william blake whatever you can do begin it boldness has genius power and magic in it i love this quote by uh, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe so as you can see the quotations are really empowering they give you food for thought then you have the classical artwork it's a beautiful deck and a very cool deck to you know have of your on your coffee table ta table you can like put your cards uh, like this you can pull one you know and just put it like that or emperor first say to yourself what you would be and then do what you have to do <laughs> that's pretty cool so out of life tarot i use it rarely but it can work as an oracle deck on like a pull a card a day uh, thing um okay let's move on i also find that sometimes when i'm want to explore something about myself it's easier for me to go via a story so this inner child tarot um, it's one of the decks that I find work for me when I want to for example check out with myself but I'm kind of a little bit scared to really find out the truth through a story you can um, find out a lot about yourself you know myths symbols stories they great ways of exploration and tarot and oracle decks are amazing to empower yourself to use um, the archetypal stories as like pathways to enter your own psyche so uh, inner child tarot very very sweet deck um, if you know I also have Lisa's hand fairy tale deck but I know this deck is out of print and comes at ridiculous prices um, but yeah oh, just if I could I would show you something but it's crazily snowing right now we had already um, like, there was no winter and now uh, there is you know time for spring it's snowing like it's crazy so another empowering deck for me is mother mary oracle um, protection miracles and grace of the holy mothers by alana fairchild and this deck is pure gold when you need you know a hug of mother it is comes with beautiful artwork of Sheila Sophia McLeod. It uh, has beautiful messages in the book. I really love this deck. And when I'm really sad, when I'm down, when I need to, you know, get myself up, this is a very um, empowering deck to use with the messages from the booklet as well for meditations. Really, really beautiful. Um, another deck that I find um, very valuable and I use often in my readings as a kind of tip or you know guidance for clients is the Oracle of the Essences um, by Monica Finazio Finazzo, Monica Finazzo from uh, www.theenchantress.com.au and this is a deck of essential oils um, it is collaborative uh, deck of four different artists and Monica wrote the book but the booklet um, the artwork is very empowering but then the booklet is very empowering as well it always comes with wise words with the lemon uh, oil so any oil being represented as a personality in balanced state and imbalanced state divinatory meaning and affirmation i also have done a review of this deck you can take a look and also there is a beautiful interview uh, in the inspired tarot map series with monica which i highly recommend it hasn't gotten too many views but i feel like monica is a great healer and she gives a lot of examples of how she works with the cards and um, yeah just speaks about her healing practices I, I really loved our chat so please take a look at it I'm going to link it below in the description box as well 
and there's also additional packs to get to this deck so yeah it's a beautiful empowering and also if you like using essential oils you can actually do some psycho magic with it and you know actually use the oil to empower yourself even more okay um another truly empowering deck is the story medicine tarot by jessica zinchuk i love my copy and i use it so much it kind of you know it gets worn off now <laughs> but um, it is such an amazing empowering deck especially with the booklet and descriptions that jessica came up with I just you know whenever I use it for clients I always make sure I read from the book because I love the short ways um, um, she described the cards and the ways she uses tarot to empower women to empower ourselves to empower our connection to the body to empower our connection to the you know to the world spirit to all the cycles that we as humans can and probably always go through um, to empower ourselves to create to connect to earth it is stunning stunning deck and truly empowering if i need grounding if i need to like get back to my power and um kind of be a little bit bolder i, I use this deck and it's at work just really suits this um type of empowering because I realized, you know, empowering comes in so many ways and forms, depending really what you need at the moment. So my other um, truly amazing and empowering deck that I always will be using is Mysteries of Mary Tarot deck. I also have a full review of this deck and also a beautiful interview with Hetien who created this deck. Um, so this comes with a book as well it's a companion book that is amazing and you know i just used it so much and it, it's yeah every time you pull a card from this deck you want to you want to really you know use the book as well so basically it just shows initiations and alchemical processes that um each of us also goes through but they are shown via mother mary and using mary um, as a kind of container for showing um, how you can behave through initiations and how to um, you know empower yourself through whatever you go through and tarot has all the answers actually it's like a map and that's why i chose my name of the channel as a tarot map because i see tarot as a map to help us when stuff happens in our lives you really can work with tarot more consciously to um, empower and show the how the cards and like decide you know how the cards show you uh, what you can do what are the possible outcomes or possible uh, solutions to the initiations you go through so mysteries of tower uh, mysteries of mary tarot deck very very empowering totally also like a high top shelf you know spirituality because also it carries a lot of energetic healing um another one that you know i've had for ages and find oh it's just this empowerment through also being very honest very spot on and very um like sometimes very punchy and i love that from you know ellen lorenzi prince and I also have this big companion book, which I love with practical hints. Um, I edged it old gold, but also worn off by now. But yeah, this is an amazing, amazing deck. Um, through the depiction of the goddesses, you can evoke the power or the energy or the quality that you want to empower yourself with. This is a deck of empowerment through sacred feminine and connection um, to your own power within so i'm really um, loving this deck this is an amazing 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 deck so ellen lorenzi prince's decks in general i find them spectacular for empowering uh, myself another one that i really love is the oracle of forest of precious twigs by trisha Murray, but also her first oracle the we star oracle and the artwork is very moving and very um 
uh, is it empowering i don't know but the text on the back it's definitely amazingly empowering especially when you go through those type of emotions when you want to hide from the world when you fearful when you sad when you go through like strange um, happenings in your lives it is an amazing deck with amazing artwork and the text in the back is also incredible and I yeah I use this deck all the time and I really love it love it love it love it so this is empowering me uh, especially through it's like you know through acceptance of what is and sometimes that's all you need to feel more empowered okay then we're coming to my favorite as well one of the favorite empowering decks and this is the um, oracle of initiation by melissa lucia um, this is the large edition but also there is this tarot edition that is available and it's beautiful as well and these images and um, the book the companion book that comes with it you can you receive the pdf as well but i highly recommend getting the um, companion book with this deck because it is just um yeah it takes the oracle to another level this is deep this is deep and this is creative and whenever i want to you know inspire and empower my creative self um, check in with myself also connect to these amazing qualities that the, the kind of archetypal images bring forth um, this is a deck that cannot be missed i so love this deck i cannot express it <laughs> more than i already have and there is numerous interviews with melissa there's two interviews with melissa but the first one we speak about oracle of initiation more in the second one we speak about her new decks um, uh, which are also amazing santos and signs and virgin uh, our madonnas and virgins oracle um, so I highly recommend it. Another inspiring um, oracles come from Linda Hill and this is Red Seat 1 and Red Seat 2. They, again, stunning artwork, incredible kind of lessons um, that, you know, we each experience. And I love that they don't shy from the shadow. So sometimes when you need to empower yourself through a warm hug maybe it's not the oracle you want to use but this one is very kind of straight to the point and there's always a challenge and the gift and you have a lot of different mostly european goddesses uh, that uh, linda picked and they are really really amazing and they come with challenges and gifts and how you can embrace you know all these different and qualities and all these different archetypes within your own life amazingly deep oracle as well and one of my favorites so and there's two parts and both amazing i wish linda did a herbal deck i just think it's going to be amazing another one that i find incredibly surprisingly empowering and working is um, the divine feminine oracle by megan waterson and the artwork by lisbeth uh, shavir gesman or Cheever gesman i'm not sure how to pronounce it but the book is amazing i always whenever i use this deck i go like Fuck, how did you it's just so spot on um, again i'm surprised because i love the bags but i'm not the biggest fan of the artwork i'm sorry i just some of them are okay but some of them are just like not my favorite art that i would use like no <laughs> so there's a few like the amazing like magic lab drone is amazing and like a lot of them are great but like lakshmi i'm no mm. I don't know you know it's personal right it, sometimes we connect to the artwork sometimes we don't nevertheless I might not connect to the artwork all the time but I love this deck and how it reads and I love what Megan Watterson wrote I love what Megan Watterson picked 
uh, for the you know archetypes if the divine, divine feminine the amazing messages and the incredible um, divine awakeners points and empowering very empowering to sacred feminine so amazing amazing oracle and again surprised but i love this oracle a lot um there is um this um, rose alchemy oracle it's also very empowering and healing and here we have only roses um only roses with the pure coats of love with this beauty this is the new version of the oracle with the extra um you know the kind of cosmic roses like this amazing Gaia Gate, oh, it's so good. It's beautiful, it's healing. You can use it for, you know, put your water on roses. You can use it as a meditation card. You can use it to transmit energy. It was created for healing. Um, Sandy makes every full moon and new moon videos on her YouTube channel, Check Rose Alchemy, with this deck. I have an interview with Sandy. I have a review of this deck. You have to check it out because it's really worth um, taking, you know, a moment to just get to know, even if it's not something you want to have or it's not, you know, along your lines of um, interest. I think it's worth it to listen to Sandy, to her story, because it just, you know, reflects something for our lives in general. So very empowering through healing and through embracing healing energy uh, of divine feminine um, i'm nearing the end guys but um i do have a few more decks that i want to share the mythical goddess tarot that i received from lena from fire of transformation for my birthday at some point and this is a deck that i find truly also an empowering deck i noticed how many actually sacred feminine decks i have I read somewhere that, um, you know, if you're a man, there's like a lack of sacred masculine decks. And I actually agree. I wouldn't mind having like some beautiful sacred masculine um, archetypal deck in my collection as well. But yeah, I'm waiting for the one. So this one, um, I... I didn't trim, but I or did I trim it? No, I didn't. I think I just colored it in, you know, in different colors. I edged it, and this deck has beautiful booklet with also gorgeous um, messages. It's elemental. It's very um, honest, but sweet and supportive. So very kind of grandmothery kind of hug deck and yeah i love to use it when i feel a bit down as well and softer one and the yoni oracle cards um very cool deck as well for healing and empowering your connection to the body and to our various expressions as fe feminine in this uh, regards again um but yeah it's you know it is how it is so um this is a collaboration deck when it comes to artwork and it, the book is beautiful comes with many meditations many rituals you can do so it's quite a holistic deck very beautiful i truly love the, using this deck it also has a very healing uh, energy and very down to earth down to body uh, another one that i find very um kind of empowering especially through connection to chakras and checking out with yourself how it is where you stand with your alignment and in your energy energy you know energetic centers is this mandala chakra oracle by laurel um, waters and also you can watch an interview i've done with laurel about her tree spirit tire deck and her mandala chakra oracle it's really an interesting take on the chakras because she goes through all these seven different um, kind of levels to the chakras. So first she goes through just chakras, seven main chakras, then nature's archetypes, sacred geometry, platonic solids, belief, consciousness and oneness. So it's an interesting take on on the energy, you know, and it's quite holistic with beautiful bags like this and um, gorgeous images they simple but you know you can get the decks through make playing cards i think or you can just visit laurel's um a website 
um, which I feel is this somewhere yeah laurelwaters.com so you can purchase these decks there if it's something you like but yeah this is an empowering deck when it comes to energy work and then I rec received recently for review this Lemurian um, Star Child Oracle which I'm going to review there is no review of it yet it's gilded and again um, this one is the most kind of um, maybe um, healing but in a sense new agey deck that I have and again I feel like there is a lot of healing energy in the cards so if you are very kind of um, not in tune with those very cosmic high energies this probably is not going to be deck for you but if you are um, kind of drawn to you know this Lemurian um, Atlantean Pleiadian um, energies this is something that I find maybe again surprising in myself but I love using this deck and it came to my life when I really needed a lot of healing support and to stay in my center and my core and not forget that there are important things beyond uh, you know the human happenings and it just reminded me about you know inherent healing in human body and then there is a bigger context to things so it's a beautiful empowering deck again a healing energy of earth healing energy of cosmos um, healing energy of our bodies when you know when we choose to open the channels so Lemurian star child oracle it also comes with this huge deck you know I mean a huge book which has 340 pages and um, it comes with a lot of writing a lot of meditations a lot of it has its own system um, with the cards so an interesting interesting deck and uh, nearly at the end um, I wanted to show you these two kind of more business empowering uh, decks so one is the sacred creators oracle which um, by Chris Ann which I actually really love to use with um, a lot of you know decks this deck goes with everything so it's like empowering process of creative creative work empowering your own self not to like freak out and the similar one is the sovereign oracle it's a tiny little one um, by Teresa Prime Pridemore and it just has different keywords and um, a little kind of description hint of what you can do um, a few different ideas you know so empowering more kind of to the point more maybe business driven or entrepreneurial but really not only it's just a very cool deck in general and the last two decks or the last three decks that I want to show so um, Tarot de San Croix by Lisa de San Croix I find this deck very empowering and the booklet um, as well it, I use it a lot and just the artwork it's modern and easy to read and I don't know it just has all this um, beautiful creative artistic vibe about it and it empowers me to embrace color in life you know I just I edged it red as well it, it, it's it's a sweet deck and if I just need some sometimes a tarot deck for a client which is neutral which is um, intuitive and descriptive I love using this deck and of course Weaver's Oracle because yeah I couldn't go far without this deck uh, to me this is um, also the quintessence of empowerment um, I know it's probably not a deck for everybody there is a review of this deck on my channel as well you can see all the cards this deck on oh, these are my weavers for this year this is my yearly weaver the sand old woman works good but yeah the images are incredible the book is very poetic it takes time to access it it takes time to play and um, it takes time to you know read through it it's not as simple you've got to like really focus it makes you slow down and um, it's amazing it's amazing amazing oracle and if you know me you know that this is probably one of my uh, top favorite oracles of all time 
Weaver's Oracle Journey Cut and Travel Guide by Caroline Hillier, uh, Hillier or Hillier, I think, yeah. And Soul Flowers. This is a sweet deck, empowering through, you know, through the herbs and through connection to the plant alley. Gorgeous artwork, soft and, um, you know, kind of encouraging messages throughout the deck. If you love plants, if you love um, healing plants, you know, connecting to flowers, this is a beautiful deck and yeah i just love this deck as well so um yeah if you like plants i also love lisa's mclaglin decks um tree wisdom cards and plant alley cards they're gorgeous and really beautiful as well so i hope you enjoyed this video it's yeah as i said i couldn't limit myself but i just wanted to show you the decks that I find empowering and sometimes depending on what type of empowerment do I need more of a slap in the face or more of a honest chat with a friend or more of a warm hug more of the healing empowering um, sense of you know um, kind of understanding these are the decks I would circulate and use so I hope you enjoyed it sending you much love thanks girls for the tag and I speak to you soon bye